Let's talk a little bit about prayer and how prayer can be a really awesome self-care tool. In conjunction with prayer, I'm going to talk about a couple of other things that have the same sort of benefits as prayer if prayer feels a little bit awkward to you. So one of the things that's powerful about prayer is that you can... Um, release things emotionally. So that is really the benefit or the self-care tool that we're talking about here. Um, prayer is just a way to facilitate that. So when you pray out loud, it's a chance to um, express sorrow, grief, um, anger, frustration. Uh, it's a chance to issue praises, thanksgiving, gratitude, um, that kind of thing, and all of the different benefits that that has on the brain in terms of releasing those emotions and letting them go. Um, the same kind of benefits that you can find in prayer, you can also do in journaling. So whether you are praying um, in your journaling, praying to God, um, or if you are just journaling, just writing out your feelings. A good friend of mine uh, ended up publishing her memoir because her therapist had suggested that she work through a lot of her own issues by journaling. So it's extremely effective and working through um, a plethora of emotion, right? Um, a couple of examples come to mind about that. I was mad at my mom a long time ago and I wrote her a scathing email and a friend of mine came over to read it before I hit send. And she's like, wow, don't let me ever be on the, the receiving end of your anger, essentially. And um, after spending some time with her, I decided I really didn't need to send the email. My mom didn't need to be the recipient of my anger. I just needed to get my anger out so that I could then um, start to repair that relationship with my mom. So sometimes just the power of writing things, it's not about hitting send. Um, my daughter has done this really well when somebody, um, a friend of hers, she's in an argument with, sometimes she just writes on her phone a little note uh, as if she would respond to a person, something, but of course she doesn't ever hit send. Um, another thing that comes to mind is right now with a lot of different um, divisive hot topics in the media, I have found that having conversations with my husband sometimes only um, leads to a fight because I, we are, have divide, divided opinions, differing opinions on some of these things to the point where if I am wanting to just release my emotions about something, um, sometimes I feel like his response is to be defensive and take his stance when I'm just trying to get my emotion out and vice versa. I'm sure he feels the same toward me. So one of the ways we can counter that, um, getting into a place where we're arguing um, and only letting out emotion is to not do that to one another, not do that to your spouse or your friend, but do it on paper or out loud in a prayer. So that's really the power of getting all of that out. Um, prayer is extremely effective for so many reasons for healing, intercessory prayer. Um, but for the purposes of this video, we're just talking about how to use prayer to let these emotions escape, really to deal with them appropriately, not to stuff them, but to actually express them. Um, one other kind of prayer that I want to mention before I wrap this up actually is um, a technique you can use with any kind of scripture or quote. I'm pulling this just from this week's uh, scripture that's in my Christian planner. I love this Christian planner, by the way. It has a great place for me to take care of all of my goals for each week. But there's a scripture at the top, and I'm just going to grab that and show you this technique. So it's really easy. You just inhale, exhale a prayer as you meditate on scripture. So in this case, the scripture comes from, looks like Romans 15. I apologize, I can't see. Romans 15, 13, and I'm just going to read um, the first part of it. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. So you would pray on the inhale, may the God of hope. Inhale, may the God of hope. And exhale, fill you with joy and peace. So you would just inhale, may the God of all hope. Exhale, fill you with joy and and peace. So you're just meditating and praying on the scripture. You can do the same thing with a quote. Um, I'm in my sister's home office and there's a sign right here that says simply blessed. So just meditating. I am simply blessed. 
I am simply blessed. Slowing your breathing down, using that quote or scripture, praying, saying the words out loud, just um, to have a, a calming effect on you. But for, for the love of all, <laughs> If you're angry, pour out your words before the Lord, pour them out on the page, let them out. Um, this particular time in history, there's a lot of emotion and a lot of it that we really don't want to stuff. So I am encouraging you, whatever you need to do, let that stuff out so that you can be the healthiest version of yourself. So be blessed, guys. I hope this is helpful.